I think the tech bros that are driving the Lambos just want to drive the prices higher for their coins. I think there's something so much deeper here. Hi, I'm Sam Rad. Uh, welcome to sunny California. Blockchain is exciting because it's an operating system for a new framework for society as a whole. So it's shaping how we live, how we eat and make money. Trust is the cornerstone of any healthy society. We're living in a time, I'd argue, where we're seeing breakdowns of trust. As misinformation and so-called fake news continues to be rapidly distributed on the internet, our reality has become increasingly shaped by false information. Democracy is facing a crisis of trust. So the history of trust started first in localized networks, so friends and family. The second phase of trust evolved to placing trust in trust proxies. So these are institutions, things like banks or brands or governments. Ultimately, in the third phase of trust, which is the phase that we're moving into, uh, facilitated by technologies such as blockchains, as where we distribute that trust. So we are now distributing it back to the people. So a hybrid of this early model of face-to-face -face and trusting in the individual, but on a globalized scale facilitated through technologies. Early Google Maps, what they did was totally different. They decided, let's open up this data and share it with everyone and let people build on top of it. And at the time that was insane. That was how companies made money. It still is how companies make money. And what we saw in turn was the entire rise of you know the on-demand marketplace economy, ride sharing, food delivery apps, location-based reviews, even dating apps. This entire economy uh, that was built was really a shift in mindset. It wasn't a technology. Return to the first principles instead of retrofitting. There are plenty of examples where these technologies can be used to make our existing systems more efficient. And that's a good starting point to start to educate yourself and your organizations about what you can do. Realize that very soon we might not have traditional supply chains and things might be, be manufactured entirely differently. But what if we were to return to first principles in respect to society? First principles are the notion of starting from the beginning, so not coming in with preconceived notions or preconceived designs, whether that's an existing corporate structure or a rocket ship. So the idea of throwing away these other operating systems, the other governance models, the other financial systems, the other healthcare systems, and we said, let's design new things from the ground up. And that's happening right now. It's happening through decentralized autonomous organizations. It's happening through blockchain-based projects. It's happening through cryptocurrencies. And it's really important to just get involved and start learning about it because it's reshaping you know, the very fabric of our being. The aspects of blockchain that are most exciting have not even been invented yet. When you think of what we can unlock together it's you know, the possibilities really are endless and again we don't we're just at the beginning hi if you're an emerging leader ready to take on the future then i invite you to go to singularity.org to learn more about the executive program and apply for the next cohort visit the link below we look forward to seeing you there